Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Look at my eyebrows. Look at them. So good. Not so good. The shape's pretty crap, but <gasps> the eyebrow stuff works so good. This is 24 hours later and I've slept in it. And they are looking strong. They are cousins, distant cousins. But it's too, like, that's a good one on its own. Singularly, that might be considered half of a good one. But they're better. It's a good product so far. Anyway, I'm here for two reasons. We'll do the buddy update at the very end because I'm probably sure everyone's sick of hearing about it already. Um, but we've forgotten one, one vital thing that we've forgotten. This is Foodie's Big Four Zero. Four zero. Now, as I recall, she would refer to DD, DD, Natter's girlfriend, um, as geriatric. She was a geriatric. And um, as far as I know, DD is only um, like a year or so older than me. So now that Foodie's in her 40s, she's probably looking for a retirement home and in care nurse getting some bifocals, orthopedic shoes. We're going to start wearing beige from head to toe, even though she wears beige already. We are buying a grandma purse. We are starting to wear pants suits. Her little chicken feathers under her hair. We're going to go a full blue rinse. All the teeth are coming out. We're going to get some dentures. We are just going full nursing home core. That's what we're doing because she's in her 40s now. She's positively geriatric. She's going to be popping fish oils with a cup of tea of a morning. You know, multivitamins for 40, 40 plus. She's got to be popping those 40 plus vitamins now. Maybe taking some of those, the goat's weed to get the old libido cranking so she can keep up with her husband in his 30s. Yep, yep, that's where she is. She's, she's just retirement planning because she's in her 40s now because that's old. Because remember how she used to always talk about every all, all the, oh my God, she's in her 40s. And if you're over 40s, if you're in your 50s or your 60s, oh my God, you're practically dust. Practically dust in foodie beauty's eyes. So maybe she's having a mental breakdown because she's not coping with being in her 40s. Four zero. Four zero. I know I wanted to cry when I turned 40. I wasn't in love with the idea. My mind, I'm 38. I'll be forever 38. 38. Th I've been 38 for eight years now. 38, eight times over. Mm. But it's just a state of mind. It's just a state of mind. But, you know, it's probably worse for Foodie because she realised she's now 40 and she feels 85. At a sick 85, not a healthy 85. You know, not like a Chinese Tai Chi jogger athlete type 85. She's more of the stewing in her own juices kind of 85. You know, the... Old lady in the wheelchair, one foot amputated at the ankle, moo moo that hasn't been washed for a month, walking stick that she waves at the kids as they run across. No, kids don't run around outside anymore. As they buzz by on their e-scooters way too fast, she yells at them. She throws tins of beans. They don't go very far. They kind of just land at her feet because she's got no yeet. But, you know, she's just that neighborhood like crazy lady that's, you know, yells at all the kids going by because her life sucked. And it still sucks. And the vibrancy of youth on their e-scooters traveling at warp speed, just get bristles, just a bristles go up. You know, the urgency of youth just annoys her, just annoys her. Yeah, so she's probably sitting around just yelling at the kids in their, the apartment block. I don't know. But yeah, Foodie's in her 40s now. She's old. Woohoo! She's officially old. She looks old, feels old, and is, is, is old. In her mind, she's old now. Uh, I wonder if she's just, she, maybe she's sitting around just checking for chin whiskers, weird mole hairs, age spots, you know, incontinence, depends. She's going to, she's probably got a big, massive pack of depends for her birthday. That's what Sala bought her, a bulk pack, bulk pack from the community grocery shop that they go to. Yeah. But anyway, I hope she had a beautiful birthday. I hope she had a massive cake. He probably bought a two cupcakes two because he splurged took it to burger king bought a two cupcakes two candles one for each 20 20 years of her life probably took for a, a drive on the long bridge 
took her out to the desert because it's so fresh and creamy and relaxing. There is something I find so relaxing about the desert. Maybe it's the all-encompassing quietness or the vast open and mostly empty landscape. I love coming here, time and time again. The sky is gorgeous today. One thing is for sure, I definitely get a dopamine boost when I interact with the desert's gentle giants, the dromedary. And that's why I'm here today. Relaxing. They stood around and looked at power poles, probably the electricity, the electricity between them, the electricity wires. It's reminiscent of their love, like the bzz, bzz, bzz. Yep, that's just, oh, the sexual chemistry. <sighs> home sweet home. Yes, we just got home now, guys. Exhausted, but had such a good time. Oof. Did you enjoy camping, honey? I had a really nice time. The desert is so peaceful, and we were in good company. I loved it. Guys, you have to try the camping in the desert. It's really fun and enjoyable. Yes, if you ever get a chance, definitely add it to your bucket list. Okay, guys, have a lovely day, and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Masalama, bye. Now, it's Ramadan. There was no intimacy going on. Um, and that's the only reason, that's the only reason that there was no connubials um, on that day. Um, it, it was simply because Ramadan, and we don't do that during Ramadan. We do lots of other things during Ramadan, but we sure as shit am not doing that. Now, I believe that would be a rule set by Salah. Now, there are many commandments that man can break. Grape, grape fantasies talking to other women behind the backs, making sure his wife um, wears a hijab, and he definitely will not be having the canubials during Ramadan. These are unbreakable rules. Everything else, totally fine. It's kind of like a wishy-washy guideline, but the hijab wearing and no sex during Ramadan, we adhere to those, if nothing else. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very firm on that one. Um, so what am I doing today for Easter? Absolutely nothing because we don't have any kids. We don't have any kids. Our kids are grown and out of the house. We haven't had an Easter egg hunt in forever. Forever. Um, we're just going to sort of sit around, chill, hang out. Um, speaking of hanging out, I have a fluffy angel beside me on the bed here. I did take a photo. Um, so last night we had, I believe what I could only say was a cat panic attack. And I'm not even I'm not even being funny in this moment. One minute he's my sweet angel, and the next minute he's sitting on the windowsill hissing at me. No, I'm not touching him, I'm not near him, I'm not talking to him, I'm not looking at him, and he's hissing like his life was uh, on the line. And my cat does not hiss. He does not. The only other time I've seen him like this is after he's been in a fight with a cat in the yard. Or if he's chasing something that he's caught, he gets a little twitchy. Um, but no, this went on for a while. He didn't want to be touched. Was just meowing weirdly and hissing. And just, I was like, oh, I thought maybe he was sick or maybe he was injured. So I called the vet, the emergency 24-hour vet, and I spoke to them. I said, look, should I bring him in? They said, look, before you bring him in, because he's so agitated, how about you just give him a bit of a physical? I know he doesn't want you to touch him right now, but if you could just get someone to help you, maybe just check his tummy, see if that's rigid, if he doesn't like to be touched anywhere, just gently just, you know, explore his ankles, feet, all this stuff. It's kind of like what Amber said in her thing, where she said, just gently touch them and make sure, you know, all the bits move and there's nothing in particular. There's no wounds, ticks, nothing. So I gave him a once over. He was fine for that, thank God. And I was just imagining him just going for my face. He was just that agitated. But he was fine. And I didn't find anything. So we gave him some food just to see if he would eat where his appetite was. Woofed it down like a mofo. Um, so I went outside and he was outside because I went outside and found him. And he climbed up on me. And I thought, oh, he's feeling a bit better. Nah, he just got hissy because I tried to stand up because I had to go inside with some mosquitoes. And he was like, <laughs> again. So I was like, oh, he's still not great. Um, so I brought him inside. Didn't want to be inside, but hated it. So I sort of just let him go outside. He went outside, slept for a bit, and then he came inside and slept on the, the um, we've got a little nest on our big table that we don't barely use. We've got a little cat bed there and a pillow that he sleeps on. So he slept on that. And this morning I woke up, my angel's back. He, he was purring. He came for cuddles. He climbed up me. He nestled in. He's had breakfast, had a bath, and he's now asleep by the window. 
So he's fine, everybody. He is 100% fine. I will keep an eye on his behavior. It's probably seasonal. I did some Googling. He does seem to have a bit of a mental switch between summer and winter. I know that sounds crazy, but if you lived in my house, you would see that there is a massive change in this cat during summer and winter. Winter is his fun time he gets fat he gets fluffy he gets to cuddle under blankets it's bliss he loves it summertime is like oh i hate the floor everything sucks i'm scared of this i'm scared i just it just he freaks out in the summertime so and there is a seasonal switch we're going into the cold weather snakes are moving around they're just trying to find warm spots to be they're lying in the sun it could have been a cat it it, it must have been something that really freaked him out i th i think he was just hyper vigilant so he has anxiety. He's just, he's, I've taken him to a vet. He's been diagnosed with anxiety. It is what it is. He's been on the Prozac, but he hasn't been on it for a long time. So I didn't like him to be on it because he just was, no, I just, we just love him a lot. And that seems to help. So, but he's fine, everybody. Okay. Um, so the birthday party is happening. It is a day late, but you know what? I feel like it's on brand. A, a late start for, for for something for Chantal. Like, Chantal didn't even show up for her own birthday. You know? She should be grateful that we're doing anything at all, okay? So, the birthday party is going to be today, which is technically, if you live in America, it is the 28th. So, it's technically her birthday today, depending on the time zones. Okay, so she was living in Canada. This would be her birthday, all right? So we're going to have the birthday party today. It'll be later this afternoon. I will schedule it a couple of um, hours earlier just so, you know, if you want to organize a cup of tea or a drink around that time, go to the Toots and we'll um, watch some stuff, okay? Now, I've hyped this birthday party thing up. It is just some slides, okay, and the playlist. But um, it's it'll be fun to talk through the what I've done. Okay, all right. See you, everybody. Have a great day. And give your kitty cats a little kiss for me. And, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Bye. Uh, Ramadan, 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 Ramadan.